While Sitecore collects customer data and interactions through XConnect, it will store um, it in detail in the Sitecore experience data. As it's being collected, it is also being processed in near real time for use in aggregated analytics and insights or for triggering marketing automation. In this video, we will investigate the process of processing and aggregation to discover the architecture roles and data flows involved. Processing and aggregation um, and, and aggregating data is part of the Sitecore Experience Database, or XDB. The Sitecore Experience Database is a repository for marketing data, which stores customer data and interactions, connecting them to create a comprehensive, unified view of the individual customer. It also provides business insights and analytics through its reporting capabilities. An important part of the experience database is its ability to process the data, either as it's being submitted in real time or on demand. One possibility of processing is, is to continuously aggregate the collected data to make it available, um, for example, as actionable insights or reporting through the experience analytics or external business intelligence tools. The XConnect collection service enables a single act to data being collected or updated about a contact. An example of this is GDPR or privacy. The system can, for example, execute the right to be forgotten operation and any plugin in XConnect can respond to this and notify surrounding systems to forget the contact. This same concept of plugins is used for aggregating the data as it's being collected. This is called live aggregation. In other words, when an, when an interaction um, is submitted to the XConnect collection service, for example, when a session on the content delivery server ends, a live aggregation plugin in XConnect reacts. This plugin saves a record in the XDB processing pools database, <clears throat> telling the XDB processing application role to handle the new information. The XDB processing application role continuously pulls the XDB processing pools database and will pull the recently added aggregation task and start the aggregation process. During the processing, the XDB processing role will pull the new interaction from the XConnect collection service and can pull additional data needed in the aggregation from other sources, for example, the reference data service. Finally, when the aggregation is done, the resulting data is stored in the XDB reporting database. After a deployment of, new, of a new Sitecore version, or if the, if the solution is extended with new re reporting dimensions or data sets, it may need to be reprocessed. Um, it may need to reprocess all the interactions in the Sitecore Experience database. This process is called historical aggregation. For this purpose, you must set up an additional second. <clears throat> when a secondary XDB reporting database is attached, all live aggregation data is stored both in the primary and secondary reporting database. Please note that it's not recommended to add a secondary reporting database unless you plan to run a historical aggregation as it will require the system to write to both the primary and the second report, secondary reporting databases and therefore increases the overall load on the system. A historical aggregation process can be started by an administrator through the SACWA admin interface. The content, the content management role will in turn trigger the processing operation on the XDB processing role. <clears throat> this will initially clean all the data in the secondary um, reporting database and create a historical aggregation task in the XDB processing tasks database. Subsequently, the XDB processing role runs a data ex uh, extraction to get an enumerator for the entire set of interactions in the XDB database. 
processing all historical interactions in the Cycle Experience database can, very, can be a very heavy operation. And therefore, the XDB processing role can be scaled horizontally to split the aggregation tasks uh, across many servers or, and threads. The initiating XDB processing role will split the data set up into cursors in the XDB processing tasks database, one for each processing worker or thread on each XDB processing role. At this point, the aggregation process runs across all processing workers using the, the saved cursors in the XDB processing tasks database. Each processing retrieves interaction data from the XDB collection service and can pull additional data needed in the aggregation from other sources, for example, the reference data service. If the aggregation of a single interaction fails, it is added to the XDB processing pool and will be retried at the end of the historical aggregation. During a historical ag aggregation, the data is continually stored in the secondary XDB reporting database. As noted before, if there are any new interactions coming in through the XConnect collection service, they will be written to both the primary and secondary databases by the live aggregation process. This makes sure that the new interactions that are coming in through XConnect during the historical aggregation process won't be lost. Now, when the aggregation is complete, the secondary database will have to be updated to contain the fresh aggregated um, to contain the fresh aggregated data. However, reporting insights and analytics is always served from the primary reporting database, and therefore the secondary and primary database needs to be switched for the new data to be live. This switch is a manual operation performed by system administrators, typically by updating the connection strings. The last type of processing handled by the XDB processing service is called distributed processing. The purpose of distributed processing is to allow uh, systems to schedule processing tasks to process data from the XDB and distribute it to other databases for various custom purposes. An example of a type of system that uses this type of processing is the path analyzer. It uses this operation to process the interactions and store aggregated traffic maps. Distributed processing operations can be queued through the XDB processing API, for example, through a scheduled task running on the XDB processing role. When a distributed processing task is triggered, a task record is created in the XDB processing tasks database. XDB processing role runs a data exchange, uh, data extraction to get an enumerator for the desired set of entities, for example, interactions or contacts in the XDB database. This data set can be limited on a time range. The data set is then split up uh, into cursors in the XDB processing tasks database, one cursor per thread per XDB processing role and custom logic runs on all XDB processing roles and processes the entities for the purpose of the receiving system. During the processing, the, <clears throat> the custom processing logic can continually send the process data for storage or handling in other systems. For example, the specific aggregated data for the, X, for the path analyzer is stored in separate tables in the XDB reporting database. <clears throat> 